God's peace be with you. Welcome to our devotional for Tuesday, November 1st. Today's devotional, like yesterday's, is based on the book of Job, chapter 1, verse 1, and chapter 2, verses 1 to 10. There was once a man in, in the land of Uz whose name was Job. That man was blameless and upright, one who feared God and turned away from evil. One day the heavenly beings came to present themselves before the Lord, and Satan also came among them to present himself before the Lord. The Lord said to Satan, Where have you come from? Satan answered the Lord, From going to and fro on the earth, and from walking up and down on it. The Lord said to Satan, Have you considered my servant Job? There is no one like him on earth, a blameless and upright man who fears God and turns away from evil. He still persists in his integrity, although you incited me against him to destroy him for no reason. Then Satan answered the Lord, Skin for skin, all the people have they will give to save their lives. But stretch out your hand now and touch his bone and his flesh, and he will curse you to your face. The Lord said to Satan, Very well, he is in your power, only spare his life. So Satan went out from the presence of the Lord and inflicted loathsome sores on Job from the sole of his foot to the crown of his head. Job took a potherd from with which to scrape himself and sat among the ashes. Then his wife said to him, Do you still persist in your integrity? Curse God and die. But he said to her, you speak as any foolish woman would speak. Shall we receive the good at the hand of God and not receive the bad? In all this, Job did not sin with his lips. Today's devotional from Daily, Pe from Daily Feast was written by Thomas Edward Frank. Find a way to let Job know that you realize the real dishonor here that he has been reduced to a stand-in for everybody's illusions about their own righteous aspirations, that he is a stick figure in someone else's melodrama, that he has not even been granted the dignity of the truth. Because what good is it, really, to be faithful to a God who jerks you around like a puppet on, the str on strings and does not have the good grace to even tell you what is really going on? Tell Job that God is not like that. Hang in there. Wait. There's more about God than this tale reveals. And we're left with this to, to ponder today. In a world of both blessing and suffering, why is there faith at all? What good is faith? If persons of faith suffer as much as any other, then what's the use? Let us pray. I hold in my heart those who suffer this day, some of whom I know by name, and others whom are only known to you. Hear my prayer. Amen. May the Lord bless you and keep you. May the Lord's face shine on you with grace and with mercy. May the Lord look upon you with favor and give you peace. Amen. Thank you for joining me for today's devotional, and I hope you join me again tomorrow. But until next time, whenever that may be, I pray that you remain safe and healthy, that wherever you go, whatever you do, your heart always speaks to the words of love. God bless.